Hello, my name is Jara and today I'll be performing transferring of patient from the bed to the stretcher. So for my assessment, I would like to check first and review all the medical history of the patient and see if there's any contraindication um, in regards to their nursing care plan, if there's any um, uh, limitation that would um, um, restrict their movement um, when doing this procedure. So just want to make sure that you review those um, uh, charts and uh, nursing care plans um, just to make sure that everything is okay and everything will be safe when you're doing this procedure. Um, and then secondly, you would like to assess if there's any IV lines, um, any tubes or anything, um, any equipment that is attached to the patient. That way you would like to know and plan um, how you're going to be uh, disconnecting all of this or um, avoiding all of this from being disconnected. So um, just make sure that you do your assessment pretty good um, prior to doing this procedure. So for my planning, um, we would like to consult any um, patient um, handling algorithm if there's if it is available. Um, that way, you would like to um, plan ahead um, how the patient will be moving in this uh, procedure. So for my implementation, um, I would be doing my hand hygiene technique first. Um, so I will be washing my hands and then um, drying it. Um, that way I would not uh, spread any microorganisms to the patient. And then I would identify the patient's name and date of birth. So using my two identifiers. Hi, sir. My name is Nurse Jara. What's your full name, please? Sebastian. Thank you. And what's your date of birth? Thank you so much. So I have identified that um, in, um, identifiers from my patient and now I'm going to provide some privacy um, before doing this procedure for my patient. That way um, he's going to be more comfortable so I'll be closing the door and the window. Um, I'll be covering that and then so when he's lying here you he would like to take off his um, pillow. So I would like to um, take off your pillow first that way um, it's ready for transfer. Um, just make sure that your patient is okay to um, be in a supine position. And then um, I would get the, the transfer, the stretcher um, parallel to the bed. Uh, just make sure that you raise it um, to the height of the bed. So I will be raising it. So just adjust it, make sure that the handrails of the stretcher are um, down. And then you would like to ask for help using your um, co-workers um, or uh, another healthcare provider. Um, we need about two more people to do this procedure. So you would like to place the back towel um, underneath the patient and then um, just um, all the linens um, underneath it, just take it out. So this is my back towel, um, the back the blanket, and then just um, Put it underneath the patient's uh, back. So place the uh, back blanket over the patient. That way uh, the patient would feel comfortable when you're doing this procedure. And then whatever's underneath, um, just take it out from the patient. So take out whatever's underneath the patient. Um, so I pretend that I took that out. So um, if there is no friction reducing um, sheet underneath the patient, you would like to place that uh, prior to doing this. So um, in this case, I have the friction reducing sheet underneath the patient. Um, so um, when you're doing this procedure, if you're going to put that in underneath the patient, you would like to let the patient um, cross their arms like this and then um, their chin should be um, touching the chest. So put the chin down like this. Then I will be rolling the patient towards the stretcher using this um, this uh, friction reducing sheet. So I will be putting that underneath and then I will just put it in place close to the stretcher. Alternatively, you would like to place a lateral uh, assisting device. So um, usually it's a board uh, closer to the stretcher. That way um, it will also help you transfer the patient towards the stretcher. So you would like to uh, position the, the stretcher laterally or very close to the bed. That way it's easier for us to transfer the patient. Um, and then you would like to have two additional nurses assist you in this procedure. So, um, so we'll get two nurses. Um, they will stand in front of the um, stretcher side. So one here and one there. And I will be on the bed side um, away from the stretcher. And 
then um, I will let them um, roll the patient um, back towards away from the stretcher and then you would like to place that lateral board underneath and then just partially the patient's back is on the board um, that way it's easier for us to transfer him and then um, you would like to grasp the, the friction um, reducing sheet um, on the head area and I will be plate, I will be um, lifting um, my side on the head and chest area and then one nurse will be lifting on the leg area so um, when we're doing this procedure we would like to um, have a lead nurse tell that we're gonna be um, transferring the patient so um, I will be counting one, two, three, and then we will be lifting the patient to the stretcher. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Good job. All right, so now that the, the patient is, is transferred over, we would like to make sure that the handrails are up, that way the patient is secured, so we will just put the handrails up, handrails up, so once the, the patient has been transferred to the stretcher, you would like to take out the lateral board that we used earlier. So um, underneath this is the lateral board that we use. We take that out. And then just make sure that you secure the stretcher with the hand, the rails up. That way um, the patient is more secured. And then just put the back towel um, um, over and then um, whatever you, uh, and then take out the other back towel that you put underneath on this uh, patient. And then just leave the friction reducing sheet underneath that way. We can transfer the patient over again back to the bed later on. Uh, and then you take out your PPE um, and perform your hand hygiene.